What is going on, Safe Moon Army? It is Safe Moon Surge here yet again with another video for you all today. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown me. To the new viewers, welcome to Safe Moon, a community driven innovation for good. If you have not yet, make sure to come subscribe, like, and comment. I do appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing on the channel and even for the videos. And let's go ahead and take a quick look here at Deck Screener. Current volume right now is 730,000 for Safe Moon Swap, which is higher than it was yesterday by 200,000 which is really good to see um, but we are still under a million which like you guys all know I'd rather have it over a million which helps with the burn but the volume <clears throat> the current price of safe moon right now is sitting at three zero five seven six three we have hit that resistance again uh, constantly it looks like we can't seem to break out of the three zero six which I think once we do we should be able to see a nice little rally up buying pressure and selling pressure right now for safe moon 45 buying 54 selling so higher selling pressure as of right now and we can see that we finally hit 681,290 holders, which is really nice to see. We are 40% into account number 16 of the swap and evolve per safemoonglubis.com here. And if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out. And let's take a quick look here at Twitter. So John Caroni tweeted this, just because you lost me as a friend doesn't mean you gained me as an enemy. I'm bigger than that. I still want to see you eat, just not at my table, Tupac. So he quoted Tupac, and it's interesting to see him quote this because clearly he understands that there's going to be a lot of people who are around him that he's going to end up losing, and he's just going to have to understand that that is part of the growing pains of a company and as a CEO. And look, John is handling the best that he can handle himself just based off of what I've seen the way he's handling himself he is obviously young and being young with that type of pressure with that big of a company that you're handling and that many employees can be a lot and he realizes he needs to weed out the people who just do not belong there who don't have his best interest at heart and that's just going to be part of that process uh but regardless though keep it up john um hopefully you continue to uh, get through this and we will we'll get to the moon together the safe moon army's got your back safe moon did tweet this out who wants the first episode of the safe moon podcast this week what should we call it at least for now table 32 or cheers mate table 32 definitely sounds a lot better uh, just because there's a table and there's going to be people around there and so I think table 32 definitely cheers mate does not that's not cool at all do not do that um but i think the podcast is going to give us a lot of insight into who it seemed that sketch was a guest on there and then you had hayden and cheese or jonas as well and then john so i think it's going to give us a lot of like background on sketch and who he is and what he's done for safe moon and hopefully it's a nice quick episode i think it'll probably we'll see what it comes out to but it will be good, a good one to listen to and i'm excited to finally see what they talk about and hopefully they give us some golden nuggets on it but um it seems that they're going to be putting out some more content hopefully this week so happy monday to you all and to the entire safe moon army i hope your guys week is going well it looks like USA top trending coins uh, for BitMart. Looks like Safe Moon's number one up here, which is next to SHIB, B Rise, Saitama. You got Doge, Luna, a couple other tokens up here, but Safe Moon always in the top 10, which doesn't surprise me for BitMart. Um, and then you could see here top BNB. Oh, Top BNB chain projects with highest social engagement sources, Lunar Crush. So you can see a Safe Moon, Baby Doge, Floki Inu, Everize, so on and so forth. But Safe Moon again in the top, which is really good. I mean, Safe Moon has always just been up there. I mean, there's just so much content, so much engagement with Safe Moon. The Safe Moon Army is so strong and so engaging with 
everything on social, especially when it comes to Twitter. Uh, so it doesn't surprise me to see Safe Moon here. Keep it up, Safe Moon Army. That's what we need. The more exposure we can get for Safe Moon, the better for us, and the more investors will come on board. And if you guys have not followed me, follow me at Safe Moon Surge here. I do appreciate your guys' support. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of the podcast coming out this week and what we will be getting. Um, Hopefully it's something that is interesting. It looks like perhaps Cheermates becomes a spinoff. Uh, can you call, let's see, kind of if they've responded to anybody. I mean, the podcast is cool and all. I think for me personally, it's just another thing that they're releasing, which content wise, I think they're putting so much content out, which I think is great education wise. If you come to their education portal down here, um, you know, they're putting con constantly um, just education, the lowdown, etc. So Safe Moon's doing the right thing. I mean, just even for SEO purposes, they're doing a great thing here. Are you subscribed to our YouTube channel? So you have their YouTube channels, which I think is great as well. If you guys haven't su subscribed to that. And then the captain's log is great. Security tips. Safe Moon's doing things the right way as far as education goes, as far as um, everything else they're doing. So it will be interesting to finally have the podcast out. But with that being said, make sure to come and subscribe, like, and comment, and I will talk to you all in the next one.